The second workshop for the development of wastewater guidelines in St. Lucia has taken place, marking a significant step forward in the comprehensive initiative aimed at enhancing wastewater management practices on the island. The workshop held as part of the Global Environment Fund Cruplus project focused on validating and refining the draft wastewater guidelines developed during the first workshop. The primary goal of the second workshop was to involve stakeholders from multiple sectors presenting the draft guidelines for their feedback and validation with participants from fields such as agriculture, water resources, hospitality and youth, among others, ensuring a comprehensive and inclusive approach to wastewater management. Consultants attached to the Wastewater Management Guidelines Project, Gordon Wyke, explained that this collaborative approach ensures that the guidelines align with the practical needs and requirements of the users, effectively guiding them in sustainable wastewater management practices. It is a complementary document to what is existing on the island in terms of legislation, regulations, standards and so on. So what it's going to hopefully do is have a document that anybody who seeks to be involved in, in this particular sector, be it from the institution, a regulator, or somebody um, um, implementing a wastewater facility, a simple septic tank or a more sophisticated small-scale facility, they can look to this document and be able to get some, as we call it, guidelines as for, for many different things. There's, there's what we call a sanitation value chain, uh, which we look at the collection, we look at the conveyance, we look at the treatment, we look at the reuse or disposal. And along the, that chain, we, we give them guidelines as to how they can operate, how, what some of the best practices, some of the information to, to, to do the very best job that they can in terms of creating their waste, wastewater system. The proposed wastewater guidelines cover various aspects of the sanitation value chain, including collection, conveyance, treatment and disposal, offering practical guidance and best practices for each stage. Water Resource Specialist of the Water Resource Management Agency, Miguel Montout, highlighted that moving forward, the success of the workshop series will contribute to the development of a final set of comprehensive wastewater guidelines. These guidelines will serve as a valuable tool for individuals, regulators and institutions engaged in wastewater management activities. This activity is an activity which stems from a previous um, initiative which we had where we looked at, uh, where we developed a, a draft um, set of um, a draft wastewater policy and strategic plan and one of the recommendations from that document was to develop a wastewater master plan so we are not quite there so we are hoping that the guidelines would uh, would be sort of a precursor to look at actually developing a broader um, a master plan and, and also um, there might be opportunities um, to actually uh, mobilize more resources I mean um, for for project implementation within the wastewater sector we know it's, a, it's definitely a sector in need of attention. The collaborative efforts of the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, stakeholders, experts and organizations involved in the project underscores the commitment to sustainable wastewater management in St. Lucia. As the project progresses, it is expected to not only enhance local wastewater practices, but also serve as a model for similar initiatives, promoting the well-being of communities and the environment. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.